know you're gone, I know you're gone But I don't feel what I know I know you're gone, I know you're gone But my mind ain't in control Cause it's my heart that's been missing you And it's the heart I need to listen to And it's been singing songs for tender dreams The ones you sang Hey Golden Bears, I'm Samantha Cox Para from Cal TV Entertainment here at the Greek Theater in Berkeley with Chef Special's lead vocalist Joshua. Thank you for being with us here. What's up? Today. No problem. So tonight will be your second night performing in Berkeley at another yeah. sold out show. What are you most excited for for tonight's show? Uh, yeah, I'm just excited for another great show, good energy and vibes and hope to get them all pumped up for 21 Pilots. So tell me a little bit about your band. How would you describe your style of music? We started out as a hip-hop funk band, basically. And then gradually we started making more like pop songs. Uh, there's some folk. I mean, In Your Arms, uh, the single here uh, that we released is pretty folky. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we go all over the place. But like reggae, hip-hop, pop, those three, I think, kind of tied together. Yeah, so how do you guys, what is your creative process like? Sometimes it starts with a word, hey, this word, or a line, and then we build the whole song around that. Sometimes it starts with, you know, a groove, just kick, snare, hi-hat, groove, or a little guitar riff. Whatever, wherever the music kind of takes you, we just try to hop on that flow <laughs> and see where, it, see where it takes us. So is there a story behind the band name Chef Special? Oh yes, <laughs> it's an amazing story. It's not though. <laughs> it's a very boring story, but I'll tell you that because there's a lot of different stories. Okay. But I'll tell you the real one. And it went like this: we were together for already like a month or month and a half, and we still didn't have a good band name. And I was like, okay, dudes, we need a band name. We're gonna go to this restaurant, and we're not gonna leave. We're just gonna eat. We're gonna drink. We're not gonna leave the place until we have a solid name. So we were sitting there, and then suddenly this beautiful waitress comes up <laughs> with a big sign of all the specialties of today. And she had this Italian, like, Dutch accent. And then she said it all, and then she ended with, and the chef special of tonight is... And we're like, dude. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Let's go. Let's eat and drink and have a name. So that's the story. Very nice. So, since you guys are called Chef Special and we're here in Berkeley, which is a pretty big foodie town. I've heard. I've heard that. Yeah. yeah. So, I thought I'd ask you, like, your own food questions along those lines to get to All know right. your personal palate yeah. a little better. Yeah. So, let's see. On tour so far, what's been your go-to comfort food? It's dangerous out here in America for a touring band. The thing that we have on our rider right now it's avocados. Those are my favorite. I, I mean, love avocados. It has everything you need. So we just have like the pita chips mm -hmm. and avocados. And every time I'm like, I feel like I need a snack, just cut up avocado and, you know, with some pita chips. They're a nice, healthy fat. They're healthy. So that's good. It tastes great. And yeah, very nutritious. Okay. Yeah. But sometimes we wake up and tell our bus driver has like this huge box of donuts <laughs> with the craziest colors and it just baffles me. But yeah, and then we eat that too. Okay. What's the best and worst American food you've had so far? <sighs> I think at this one restaurant they gave me dessert and it was like fried Oreos. Oh yeah, those are deadly. Ice cream. It was unlike anything I've ever experienced. So was that the best or the worst? No, that was the worst <laughs> by far. That was not okay. Don't eat that, guys. It's <laughs> bad for you. But yeah, what's like real American? Like, what are you famous for? Probably like, like hamburgers yeah, and hot and, dogs. And uh, hamburgers, they're good. Mm -hmm. and they're dangerous, but they're good. Yeah. The, you're, yeah. You guys are really good at making hamburgers. <laughs> Congrats. It's awesome. Well, yeah. thank you. On behalf <laughs> <Yeah>. of America. <laughs> There's more, obviously. Yeah. But the burgers are good. Yeah. So if you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? One food. <sighs> well, 
I'd have to go then, I think, for just toast with Dutch cheese. With Dutch cheese? Yeah. Okay. Like you have something that's close to it, but it's not it. You call it Gouda. Mm, okay. Gouda. That's the city in Holland. Gouda cheese. It's You're close, but it's not that. It's not it? No. But that, I just love. Toast, butter, cheese. Yeah. That sounds I think pretty I good. Can I think I could do that the too, rest probably. Of my life. It yeah. sounds pretty good. Let's do it. Sounds Gouda. <laughs> yeah, sounds Gouda. Well, thank you, Joshua, for speaking with us today. And thank you for watching. Make sure to catch Chef Special on 21 Pilots Emotional Roadshow Tour this summer. Yep.